It's no longer news that FTX has crashed, and Sam Bankman-Fried has been arrested and is facing prosecution for his role in the collapse of the crypto exchange firm. The former CEO and founder of FTX, Sam Bankman-Fried, was in charge of billions of dollars of customers' money, and he can't, until now, account for it. He was arrested in December by the Royal Bahamas Police Force and extradited to the United States. Bankman Freed was charged with wire fraud, wire fraud conspiracy, securities fraud, securities fraud conspiracy, violation of campaign finance laws, and money laundering. He could face up to 115 years in prison if convicted on all counts. He recently pleaded not guilty to all the charges and is out on a $250 million bond. However, the court specified that he has to live at his parents' house in California as part of the bond conditions. The $250 million bond is the most significant bond ever set in an American criminal trial. Nevertheless, it represents just a tiny amount of the total money Bankman Freed either squandered or couldn't account for. One of the first places you can say FTX's customers' money went is into the numerous purchases and investments made by SBF when he was still CEO of the company. Bankman Freed's FTX was worth more than $15 billion and held billions of customers' funds, but he claimed to have transferred over half of these funds to Alameda Research, a sister company. He also bought into several crypto companies and used customer funds to invest in multiple companies. The shocking news is, with the FTX collapse, all these billions of dollars and investments have suddenly disappeared. SBF filed for bankruptcy, and although he is more or less under house arrest following his $250 million bond fulfillment, customers whose money was misappropriated are not pleased that he is not in jail. They wonder about the rationale between allowing someone responsible for the loss of billions of dollars an opportunity to enjoy Christmas and New Year's with his family. Some have claimed that there is a government conspiracy to free him because he significantly financed the current U.S. government's campaign. Others pointed to the fact that no upfront payment was made for the bail. Instead, his parents' house was put up as a security for the bond. Bankman Freed can only leave the house for exercise, mental health, and substance abuse treatment. He can welcome some visitors and have a security detail, but he also has surrendered his passport and is not allowed to possess a gun or any destructive weapon. To add to his arrest, he cannot make any transaction above $1,000 without approval. Although he wears an ankle monitor and is under supervision, he has claimed that he has received death threats. Still, the question on almost everyone's mind is, what happened to the billions of dollars customers invested in Bankman Street's FTX crypto exchange company? Following investigations by the Securities and Exchange Commission, it was discovered that out of the billions of dollars that customers deposited in FTX, $200 million was invested in Dave and Miston Labs. Dave, a fintech company that went public a few months ago, received $100 million as an investment from FTX. At the same time, Miston Labs, a Web3 company, also received $100 million. Although FTX Ventures invested in several companies, only those two crypto firms disclosed investments of $100 million. No crime was committed by Dave and Miston Labs in accepting investments of over $100 million from FTX Ventures. Still, it shows how FTX diverted customer funds without their knowledge into different firms and crypto companies. Using his hedge fund firm, Alameda Research, Bankman Freed used customers' funds to invest in several DeFi and crypto projects. He also put some money into startup video game studios, online banks, betting platforms, a military drone maker, a vertical farming company, publishers, and a fertility clinic. Wow, this could be a story for a novel. His portfolio also includes stakes in Sequoia Capital, Elon Musk's companies, The Boring Company, and SpaceX, and Anthony Scaramucci's Skybridge Capital. Another possible location for customers' funds will be Alameda Research, another SBF-owned company. Bankman Freed operated Alameda Research and FTX so that there were no clear boundaries between the two. Yet, he assured investors that both companies were independent. According to data made available by different media houses, the relationship between Bankman Freed's two companies is direct, with Bankman Freed diverting customers' money to Alameda to invest in several firms and crypto companies. Although Bankman Freed admitted to being involved in Alameda Research's venture capital activities, he claimed ignorance when he was queried about FTX's use of customers' money to support Alameda. While Bankman Freed claims that he is innocent, Caroline Ellison, the Alameda CEO and romantic partner of Bankman Freed, has pleaded guilty to several charges involving fraud and misusing money. 
Damian Williams, the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, revealed that FTX co-founder Gary Wang has also pleaded guilty to federal charges. He was charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud, wire fraud, conspiracy to commit securities fraud, and conspiracy to commit commodities fraud. Wang pleaded guilty to all of these charges. Ellison was charged with two counts of wire fraud, conspiracy to commit securities fraud, two counts of conspiracy to commit wire fraud, conspiracy to commit commodities fraud, and conspiracy to commit money laundering. The indictment came after the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, filed civil complaints against them. The SEC claimed that both crypto moguls were part of a scheme to defraud equity investors in the crypto trading platforms FTX, co-founded by Samuel Bankman fried and Gary Wang. The CFTC's complaint charge was more expansive. Ellison was charged with fraud and material misrepresentation connected with selling digital assets and commodities. In contrast, Wang was accused of fraud concerning the sale of digital asset commodities. The SEC claims both defendants assisted Bankman fried in diverting FTX's customers' funds. The commission alleged that Ellison artificially manipulated FTX's token, FTT, to increase Alameda Research's collateral for lending. In contrast, Wang allegedly created a software backdoor in FTX's platform that allowed Alameda to use customers' funds for their businesses. There have been reports that companies Bankman fried put his money in will have to return the money as part of clawback provisions. In a clawback, money paid out of a company is expected to be repaid in exceptional circumstances, like a company going insolvent and looking to recover funds before filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. There have been suggestions that the clawback might include the $2.1 billion FTX paid to Binance when the company opted out of its Series A investment in FTX. However, Binance CEO Cheng Bing Zhao has rubbished such reports. Nevertheless, U.S. Attorney William Dave has announced they are working round the clock to trace and retrieve the missing customer funds. To ensure this is done swiftly and effectively, the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Southern District of New York has created an FTX task force that oversees investigations and prosecutions related to FTX's collapse and recovering missing customers' funds. The task force comprises senior prosecutors from the Attorney's Office, money laundering, public corruption, transnational crime enterprise, and securities and commodities fraud units. They're expected to work together using asset forfeiture and cyber capabilities to trace and retrieve billions of dollars of customers' funds. FTX's new management has also adopted a similar strategy and hired Alix Partners, a financial advisory company, to trace the company's missing digital assets. Attorney William Dave has hinted at more arrests urging anyone involved in any illegal activity at Alameda Research or FTX to submit themselves to the law before investigations reveal them. Among the money expected to be traced and recovered is about $372 million worth of missing digital assets. The assets were stolen by an unknown perpetrator a day after FTX filed for bankruptcy. The thief made away with about 228,523 ETH and transferred the assets out of the exchange as it battled bankruptcy and internal collapse. Preliminary investigations revealed that the transaction was unauthorized. FTX released a statement on November 12th warning customers of unusual wallet activity carried out by an unidentified person. Could this be where customers' funds went? Elliptic, a blockchain forensic firm, revealed that the number of unauthorized transfers carried out was around 477 million. It stated that the unknown thief swapped the stolen ETH for RIN BTC before changing it to Bitcoin through the RIN Bridge service. RIN was bought in 2021 by Alameda Research, a sister company to FTX, Elliptic has confirmed that Ren was used to laundering multi-million dollar crypto. When Bankman fried was quizzed about the incident, he claimed that it was the handiwork of either someone who had unauthorized access to an ex-employee's computer or an ex-employee of FTX. He admitted to having narrowed the suspects down to eight people. However, he couldn't identify which of them committed the crime. Zach XBT, a crypto analyst, claimed that some of these stolen assets were sent to OKX, a Singapore-based crypto exchange, through a Bitcoin mixer. As if to confirm, the managing director of OKX, Linux Lay, admitted that the company is aware of the situation and is monitoring the wallet flow. The collapse of Sam Bankman frieds FTX has ignited more talk about better regulation of cryptocurrency. As the discussion rages, investigators and prosecutors continue to trace FTX funds outflow and the companies to which this money was loaned or invested. The recovery of these funds might be a success. However, the decentralized nature of blockchain and cryptocurrency industry may pose a hindrance. Do you like this video? Please subscribe to CryptoFlix in order to watch more videos like this. What do you think of the situation? Don't hesitate to drop your thoughts and comments in the comment section below.